So in the context of being upfront with Canadians and establishing the, the, the credibility of what's being said here so that we can formulate a report and have proper recommendations going forward, Minister, in January of 2022, you talked about getting advice from law enforcement asking for the uh, triggering of the Emergencies Act, which we found out not to be true. In October uh, of 2022, uh, you had an issue where you misled a federal judge by backdating documents. Um, in January of 2023, you had an issue about the safe third country agreements working effectively and miscommunicating that to Canadians. In April of this year, you had to scrap your amendments to Bill C-21 after saying you weren't targeting law-abiding hunters. Uh, in May of this year, you indicated that CSIS never shared intelligence that the communist regime had targeted Mr. Chong and his family, which we now know is not true. In May of this year, you talked about police stations still being open, which is, we know now, categorically wasn't true. And now we know that not only did the Correctional Service of Canada tell your department and your ministry uh, on in, in, in May of this year, but you were also CC'd on that same memo from your own boss who forwarded it on to your department or your ministry. And last night, reading through Twitter, your boss and the, through the Prime Minister's office has said that they sent you that same note and there was no indication, according to this reporter, that you responded to the Prime Minister's office and that the Prime Minister's found, office found out on the 29th, the day before you said you found out on the 30th, that Paul Bernardo was being transferred Point from a maximum security prison to a medium security prison. It is, it is, Point of order, I, I'm, Mr. I'm, I'm trying to establish credibility of the witness, Madam Chair. This isn't a courtroom, but okay. Point of order, Mr. Turnbull. Uh, Madam Chair, it's the same point of order as last time. I just wanted to ask for relevance. I don't know how Mr. Culkins thinks this is relevant to foreign interference, which is what we're here to study, but I'd really uh, like to know how this is relevant to our current study. So I was, and I will, I was just waiting to see where the question was landing because Mr. Culkins has been around a long time, so he knows how this works. And I was um, hoping that we were coming back into it. So perhaps that was the case, Mr. Culkins? Back the issue is the information that's being shared is being blamed not only by you, but other ministers of the Crown as not getting the information. There is no doubt in my mind, Madam Chair, that the minister had the information about this transfer and had the information about all the other things pertaining to Mr. Chong and every other issue I said. So given that, Madam Chair, I'm going to ask the Minister if he can do the one thing that I think he knows he should do. He has a microphone in front of him right now. With all of the issues uh, that have been caused under his watch and the issues specifically pertaining to my colleague, Mr. Chong, will he do the honourable thing and resign right here, right now. Madam Chair, I'm focused on one thing and one thing only, and that is doing my job to protect the safety and security of Canadians. That question is so posed with, is riddled with inaccuracies and falsehoods, it doesn't even begin to warrant an answer.